Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the podcast. I'm going to get straight into the question of the day, and here's what it is. This coach messaged me. Um, this was about actually three months ago, and I saved it uh, for this episode. He said, he said, hey, Ben, I'm a basketball uh, skills trainer. There is another coach that's in my area that copies everything that I do on social media. He copies a lot of the payment pages that I have. He copies a lot of the emails that I send out. I feel like everything I does, he's just right there waiting to uh, steal everything that I do. And he just goes on and he goes on this rant about how he's sick of this guy doing it. Uh, what should he do? Uh, should he contact the guy? Blah, blah, blah. Um, and I have been in this exact situation. Uh, this is insane. But there was a guy, uh, this was when I was about 23, 24 years old. There was a guy who was in his 50s that lived uh, in my city. And he was a, another soccer trainer. And he literally, like I am not exaggerating, word for word on my website, copied everything. Same thing. Uh, I came up with all the content on my website. That was 100% me. And a parent of one of the kids that I train uh, told me, they were like, hey, this guy's website looks exactly like yours. <laughs> and then I went there and I was looking at like a carbon copy of my website. The only difference was he had his logo and he had a, a picture of him. And the jabroni stole all of my testimonials too, right? He literally took testimonials off of my website. Kids that I've worked with, and quotes from their parents and he put them on his website all right which th this all sounds illegal right what, what he's doing and i remember i used to be so mad at this guy i was mad at him for for a very long time and what ended up happening was because i started thinking about the stuff that i was doing and and he kept copying me the same thing on facebook same thing on social media um it started to take me away from uh, helping more kids in my area because now I was distracted by what this guy was doing. And the thing that I did, this, this is something that helped me. And uh, my response is, if you have someone in your area who's copying the crap out of you, I want you to go to Instagram, Facebook. Uh, you know, If they're stealing your email newsletter, go sift through your email newsletter contacts and, and find them and block them from, from stop getting your emails. Uh, block them on social media. Um, like block their website on your computer so you stop looking at it. And just make all of that disappear. And when you do that, now it's not on your mind. Right? It's not on your mind. You, you, you are forcing yourself to not even look at it. And when that happens, you don't care about what that person does. And I think one of the best pieces of advice that I ever got, this was from a mentor. Uh, I've gone to a bunch of his events in the past and bought some of his products. His name is Bedros Koulian. Um, he always said, create faster than they can copy. And... That always resonated with me because I know that at the end of the day, if someone's going to copy me, they're, they're going to copy me and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, but if I continue creating, that person is always chasing, right? They're always going to chase. And ultimately what happens is the person who's chasing, they get fatigued, they get tired, they need a little water break and they quit. And so if you can create faster than they can copy then you are always the one in the lead, right? And when it ends up happening over time, and I'm talking about uh, one year, two years, five years from now, parents start to sniff out someone who's not uh, authentic. And that's exactly what happened with this jabroni that lived in my city. Uh, ran that dude out of business within two years, right? And once I stopped looking at, at what he was doing, my business started doing better. And, you know, the more he copied me, the worse his business actually ended up doing. So I hope this helps. Um, and uh, if you ever run into that problem, and you will run into that problem, there are people right now who are copying your business. Every coach is watching this. I can guarantee you someone's copying what you're doing. Uh, just block them and uh, move on with your life.